The 33rd ASABE Historic Landmark was designated in 1995 in recognition of the development and contributions of agricultural aviation. The first time a plane was utilized for agricultural purposes was in 1921 when a U.S. Army pilot applied insecticide to Ohio's catalpa trees, which were infested with moths. The trees were saved, and people noted that applying insecticide by air was safe and effective. Shortly thereafter, converted military planes were successfully used to dust cotton to control the boll weevil in the southern United States. In 1923, Huff Dalen Dusters Incorporated, the forerunner of Delta Airlines, did the first commercial dusting of crops with their own specially built aircraft. The use of aircraft in agriculture gradually spread west in the Great Plains and the coastal valleys. In the early days, aerial applicators were known as crop dusters because they worked with dry chemicals, mostly insecticides. Today, aerial applicators deliver mostly liquid products to control pests and diseases and to provide nutrients. Aerial application assists in providing a safe, affordable, and abundant supply of food and fiber for the world's growing population. It is also vital in protecting our natural resources and combating pests that threaten public health, such as mosquitoes carrying encephalitis and West Nile virus. Aerial application accounts for almost 25% of crop protection applications and nearly 100% of forest protection applications. Aerial application is often the safest, fastest, and most efficient and economical way to get the job done. Besides spraying crops, ag planes are also utilized to clear overgrown areas needed for roads and power lines and maintain pasture land for livestock. Agricultural aircraft are used for firefighting and to prepare forests for new seeding. The advancements of new technologies have been a huge help to aerial application. Global positioning systems are now able to locate fields with greater accuracy, make more uniform applications, and log and document all spray activity. Computer models and technology, combined with the National Agricultural Aviation Association and the National Agricultural Aviation Research and Education Foundation programs have all helped to lower drift incidences and accident statistics. In 1995, an ASAE historic landmark plaque was dedicated at the National Agricultural Aviation Museum in Jackson, Mississippi. It recognizes agricultural aviation to which many ASABE members have contributed.